The Grizzly Lodge is one of those bucket list type of destinations, not only for us flatlanders that have come west, but also for the fellas who live and ride out here, because the experience of the Grizzly Lodge is unique, because this place, well, it sure ain't no Holiday Inn, and the experiences here start even before you get to the lodge. Located about 45 kilometers from the nearest paved road, the lodge is only accessible by 4x4 truck in the summer months. So that means in the winter, you've got to ride in. Trucks and trailers are parked at the side of the logging road, where as a guest, you suit up into your riding gear and finish your trip into the lodge on your sled. For out-of-towners who fly into Kamloops like us, Grizzly Lodge will send one of the staff members out to do pickups at the airport because there's no taxi that will get you anywhere near the lodge. Then, if you need a rental sled, Grizzly leaves a cache of buggies at the trailhead for that ride into the lodge. This ride in aspect means you kind of have to think ahead because everything you'll need for your stay needs to be packed in on the back of your snowmobile. But once you get to the lodge, you're right at the edge of the riding areas and when you wake up in the morning, you look outside to all of this. Grizzly Lodge started approximately 10 years ago. Uh, I officially uh, bought the place in 2009 and started the business. And uh, yeah, it's been an incredible uh, ride of, uh, you know, learning how to develop a business. And uh, my passion for snowmobiling definitely has driven it forward. And uh, the incredible terrain we have here uh, with the lodge experience coupled with that on the mountain where you're riding from the doorstep and literally in five minutes you're in the Alpine. Uh, people love it and uh, we are located well off the grid. You actually physically have to ride a snowmobile in here or uh, fly in a helicopter. Um, it's fantastic because it puts you within 10 minutes of the Alpine subalpine terrain uh, and you're not trucking and trailering each day. Uh, you get on your sled as soon as you walk out the door, you fuel it up and in 10 minutes you're in the Alpine, which makes it incredibly uh, unique and um, convenient. Usually when we're uh, chatting with guests about coming here for the first time, uh, people have a lot of questions and when they hear it's a ride-in snowmobile lodge, immediately they're thinking, well, it's going to be rough. Uh, you know, accommodations are going to be slim, the food might not be great, uh, we're going to have to haul a lot of stuff in. And uh, we usually have to assure them that no, uh, even though we're out this far, uh, when you get here you will be blown away with uh, the accommodations, the food, all the supplies we have here. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome. Being operations manager running up here, uh, you know, you just you got to try to think ahead because town's a long ways away. We can't get stuff just, you know, like go to the store and get it. And so we've got to make sure we've got supplies up here that we need and that we keep everything maintained and ready to go. And so that uh, stuff doesn't wear out and break down as much. Aside from that, if something breaks, I got to fix it. Uh, if the trail's rough, I'm going to groom it. And, you know, just making sure the doors aren't falling off the hinges and everything's running good and like a well-oiled machine up here. We've got a wicked dry room, probably I would rate it the best <laughs> ever developed. Uh, there's air pegs for uh, your boots, gloves, helmets, all that. Wonderful hooks, dehumidifiers. Nobody walks out uh, the door in the morning with wet gear. Uh, it's fantastic that way. Once you're done in there, you can go have a shower, hop in the hot tub. That's always good after a long day. And then grab some dinner at the bar and you're set. Guests, often I hear a lot of feedback about what they like specifically about the lodge. And uh, we have a large common area with a pool table and TV and uh, big tables for everybody to eat at and a bar there. And uh, it really creates an atmosphere uh, that people seem to enjoy a lot. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, I, we hear that more often than almost anything is the atmosphere that people experience here because of how the lodge is constructed and people can get together and hang out and have a good time. It's really popular. You know, snowmobilers really have a passion together and that seems to uh, really work well in a setting like this. People come and uh, you often see a different side of guests occasionally because they're here to relax and 
uh, cut loose a little bit and uh, we certainly have some fun evenings here with guests uh, having a few drinks and telling some stories and uh, ringing the shot bell and uh, it's, it's very entertaining and uh, people enjoy it a lot. The atmosphere here at the Lodge is really, we, we kind of have like as a staff a family atmosphere and that kind of translates to the groups that we see up here and, and it's a lot of just, you know, you, you came with all your sledding buddies. And we see a lot of families, we're starting to see a lot more families up here, which is awesome to see. Um, guys starting to bring their wives and their girlfriends up, which is also really cool. Um, but it's still mainly just, you know, you, you're out here with all your buddies, your sledding buddies, and uh, when they're all going, it's loud and it's crazy and, and it's fun. Everybody's just relaxing, they're on vacation, and you're on the trip of a lifetime. Riding here isn't all about high marks and steep terrain. Instead, around Grizzly Lodge, it's more about finding your rhythm as a rider using the trees and subalpine hills to terrain ride. Now, this type of riding has become hugely popular over the last number of years, and it'll challenge your skills no matter what level they're at. As a snowmobiler myself, since I was uh, eight, nine years old, uh, I can't think of a season yet that I didn't have a sled and have ridden and uh, today I still get giddy when I get on my sled and go for a ride. Uh, and that has really played into developing the business because I feel like I know what other snowmobilers want when they come to a place like this. We start off by telling them it's amazing, it's awesome, it's all that, but the biggest pitch is that you are not traveling every day from the mountain to the mountain. You, once you're at the lodge, you literally uh, walk out the door, you're on your snowmobile and you're riding immediately in the mountains. There's no trucks, no trailers, no gas stations, no having to find a restaurant. It's made so easy. In fact, when I go snowmobiling somewhere else now, I kind of get annoyed because I have to change my clothes on the side of the road or in my truck or go look for a restaurant. Uh, we really sell people on the experience that they have here at the lodge versus hotel, travel, truck, trailer, all that side of it. With the lodge right at the edge of the riding zones, it's about a 10 minute trip up a groomed trail maintained by Grizzly's own groomer to get to the goal. Once up in the riding area, the choices are near limitless for the type of terrain you can find. Plus, in the different riding pockets, there's challenges for every skill level. What it's like to work as a guide up here is just, it's awesome. Um, we had a lot of people who are up here for their first time in the mountains. They've never experienced uh, riding anything but you know a trail system, a groomed trail system. And to, to be the person that shows them what mountain riding is and to take them off trail for the first time and show them a good time, it, it's such a rewarding experience and it never gets old just seeing people's faces light up when, when they see the views and they realize that I just rode to the top of a mountain. It's just awesome. The terrain around Grizzly Lodge really does offer a riding experience for every level. Of, of purpose that's coming out riding. I've taken people from the parking lot up to the top of the mountain that have never been on a snowmobile before in their life and I've taken out groups of mixed riders where I've got really experienced guys riding with guys who maybe have been in the mountains a couple times and I can get everybody to the same spots and have something for everybody to ride where we're still all in the same zone and we can still see each other. So it, it makes it really easy and really fun to guide up here because the terrain just works for us. At Grizzly Lodge, we start our operation in the beginning of December, usually the first weekend of December is our kickoff, and we run our operation right through to the end of uh, April. Um, right around April 20th is usually when our last groups come through, and we shut our doors, but uh, we still have plenty of riding, and then we'll get out and have some fun riding our spring riding. Snow conditions up here, there's not really a bad time to come. Um, December, we usually get a lot, uh, a lot, a lot more powder days, um, and but there's not really a bad time. I mean, we always tell people the best time is when you're here because we can't predict the weather. 
Uh, we are pretty fortunate. We get really, we usually get a lot of uh, snowfall to cover up and uh, uh, reload the mountains and whatever. Um, but there's, we can't predict the weather and usually we don't go longer in a week without getting snow anyway. Guests seem to enjoy riding what's uh, come out that season and uh, it makes it easier for us on the um, maintenance side of things. We currently have 10 rental sleds and then a couple guide sleds. Uh, so we usually are able to accommodate people that don't have their own sleds, especially for people traveling, uh, you know, from uh, more than driving distance away, uh, fly in, and we'll look after the rest. What we do is if you're coming up here and you're renting a sled, you don't have to worry about how you're gonna get up here to ride it. We'll have it waiting in the parking lot for you, ready to go. Um, and also any gear that you need, whether it's riding gear or avalanche gear or just a shovel and a backpack, um, we can outfit you completely. So pretty much all you got to do is show up and uh, we've got you covered. The sleds that we have up here, they're all 800s and we have uh, a few 155s, a few 163s. We've got a 155 3 inch that is really fun. It's a wheeling machine. Um, we've got a couple 163 3 inch and uh, they are absolutely awesome mountain machines. We run uh, Polaris 800s, like I said, and uh, they just work. Yeah, we're really proud of the sleds that we run. Uh, we really love running the Polaris. They're, they're easy to ride, they're extremely light, um, and it's easy to teach somebody how to ride when they're on a new machine versus riding a machine that's 10 years old, or even four or five years old. Um, you put them on a new machine, it's responsive, it's light, and when they're riding the same thing that their guide is riding, it's really easy for me to show somebody how to do something and to jump from sled to sled and be able to do exactly what I want to do on it. Yeah, when guests are coming back and we've been on the mountain all day and they've been stuck and I've been digging them out and it, catching up at the end of the day, you know, you go you go sit down and sit around the fire or whatever and just the stories just start coming of stuff you knew about, stuff you didn't know about, stuff that you maybe should have known about and it, it's just, it's such a, such a great time and you really have a connection with the guys that you go out with. Well, I guess we're really doing this, so we have to switch. Here you go. I can shoot you. Yeah, I'll, okay, I'll take this, and I, I don't know what I'm doing with it, but I'll take it. This does not make any sense whatsoever. You get like right here going this way. Who's shooting this thing, me or you? He thinks I'm a professional at this, I'm really not. Are you ready now? I don't understand. And he's gone. Yeah, we have uh, a couple snowboard racks available for rent. Um, and there's some really great backcountry snowboarding that you can access with your sleds. Um, and really, you get the best of both worlds because you get to ride your sled and you get to do a little, get a few powder turns in that you know, nobody else is fighting you for. So it's a really, really great opportunity to try that out. If you, something you've been wanting to try or wondering whether if you're coming up to Grizzly Lodge, whether you should bring your board up, absolutely bring it up, give it a shot, and uh, you'll have a lot of fun. If you're sled boarding or you're sled skiing, you get really familiar with the art of riding tandem. Uh, you get two guys, one on either side of the machine, and you've got to work with each other to be able to side hill and carve and ride all the same areas that you would normally solo and it gets to be something that's that's really fun and you I found you kind of stop just trying to make it straight up the hill and you start going well I wonder if both of us could make it up that pole there and and you can get into trouble but it, but it's a lot of fun uh, riding tandem when you get two guys to figure out how to do it when you're sled skiing or boarding ideally you want to make sure that you've always got a machine at the top and one at the bottom and that you don't ride both your sleds up to the top and ride down and have to hike up so what you do is you go up with both machines, you leave your boards, take both machines back down, ride one back up, so now you got one at the top, one at the bottom, you make your runs and then you ride up and collect your sled and just repeat it. So you do a lot more sledding than you do boarding, but uh, the boarding that you do is usually areas that nobody else is riding and it's fantastic. 
Yeah, riding up here, there's you can challenge yourself as much or as little as you want. We've got open faces that would be ideal for boarding and get a nice long run or you can go into the steep and deep and we've got a few areas where there's some old cat tracks that you can easily get up with the sled and you're riding some pretty nasty terrain, but it's a lot of fun. I, I don't get it. I mean, there's no burning dinosaurs happening here whatsoever. You strap a board to your feet and you go down a mountain and you gotta walk over and then what do you do? Nothing. You can't do anything until you get on a snowmobile and we take you back up there. What's the point? I, I don't get it. Just don't get it. All right, we're here in the basement of Grizzly Lodge in the shop, sitting next to a sled that we, we've been riding all day with Adam and Tim. And I gotta say, guys, it's been a great couple of days here. Uh, I, I think you guys really like what you do, right? Like, you, you, every day at work is a bad day at work type of thing, or is it a pretty good day at work? I'm gonna leave that one for Tim to start off. Oh, you know what? It, it, it's hard to it's hard to leave this place actually when your shift is done, because you know the people come and you know who's gonna be here. You're excited to see people, and I mean when you get to go and work, your work is showing people the mountains in BC and the mountains that we've got to ride here. Yeah, it's it's pretty rewarding, pretty incredible seeing people come out here, especially the first time in the mountains, and uh, you're the guy showing it to them all. And you guys, your relationship goes way back, right? Like, oh. there's, a, there's a connection there that I understand. Like, uh, yeah, <laughs> let might, me tell you. Might you. Say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we've known each other since we were about 14 or so. Yeah. And by chance, uh, three years ago, I happened to marry Tim's sister. So that's been interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you can't really get away from each other then. Like, you're, you're together at work and then family dinners and Christmases and everything yeah, like that. Those you're can always get throwing awkward. buns at each other. And, <laughs> Buns. <laughs> <laughs> or hammers, yeah. whatever, whatever's handy. <laughs> yeah, but we, uh, it's been a good relationship here at the lodge. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun when you can work with somebody you can trust and yeah. uh, have that relationship behind the scenes uh, where, um, yeah, things can get a little out of hand occasionally, but so far Not we're so much other sets yeah. off days. <laughs> <laughs> but the riding here too is is pretty darn good when you get right down to it. I mean, uh, it's it's terrain riding. It's not you know huge big you know mountain climbs or, mm -hmm. or high marks that type of thing. But it's challenging, right? And and do you find your the people that come here always find something new? You know, I think aside from the lodge experience, we get a lot of feedback from guests uh, that they love the terrain because no matter what level they are, beginner, intermediate. Uh, expert uh, they can find terrain that meets uh, what they're looking for and uh, we find that the majority of our terrain is pretty safe we're not always worried about avalanches in every area there's a lot of nice safe areas that you're not having to worry about that and uh, that puts a lot of people at ease um, because that's obviously a concern when you're in the mountains but fortunately we have a lot of wicked terrain here that doesn't uh, require that level of concern yeah and like we were saying today when we were out there like the terrain is such that you don't have to be a fantastic snowmobiler to get into some really Tim good spots. It. So I mean, yeah. I, I can make it in there, and <laughs> I mean, you've seen how many times I was stuck today. I think you went into a tree once, or maybe twice, or something like that. We may even have that on GoPro. I'm not it sure. It might but... be. We might have to leave that file. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it is. It's got to be satisfying to be able to have a guest of of you know a, a newbie. To, to come up here because it, it's it's a challenging and it's intimidating to come up on the mountains. I mean, yeah. uh, it's nice to know that that somebody of that skill level can come up here and have the experience mm -hmm. that that we all love, right? Yeah, yeah. and it, it's really cool watching somebody go from the start of the day when they're going, oh man, we we have to go up that. Like, are you sure? Is there another way to the end of the day? Going, hey, can I can I go up that? Like, can I try that? And you're like, yeah, go for it. Like, give her. Now, speaking of other kinds of riding, you guys were out snowboarding today, which is something that I have no idea about. Like, I'm not a snowboarder, uh, was a skier in a past life, but that ended quickly when I discovered gasoline and snowmobiles, yeah, which are like much gasoline. better. Yeah, so, you know, do you guys do a lot of snowboarding out here? You know, we, we do a little bit here and there. It's one of those things where it's, it's fun to do something different sometimes. You know, honestly, I kind of hung up the board when I started uh, snowmobiling. Well, that's, um, that's a natural thing to well, do. Well, yeah, I mean, why... There's... Well, <laughs> if when you've got one of these sitting here, why are you going to strap in one of these? But, <laughs> but, you know, it's fun just to do something different once in a while, and, and we can access some really cool terrain that, like, you can't experience just going to a ski hill or, or hiking or whatever. And, yeah. and the ease of taking a sled and going up and doing your runs 
And then you get the best of both worlds because you get to do a little bit of downhill on the snowboard or your skis, and at the same time, you're still doing lots of riding in the yeah. day. And when you can shred like Tim, oh yeah, oh. why not, yeah. right? I saw him banging into a bunch of trees, I think. There seems yeah. to be a no, common tree uh, theme here, right? <laughs> trees with sleds, trees with trees. Uh, boards, trees with the trucks. <laughs> and moving on. Uh, all right. So, I mean, if you guys are coming out from the east, Grizzly Lodge is the place to go. Um, get a guide. Tim will take you. You can watch him drive into a tree. <laughs> It'll all be good. No promises. <laughs> no promises. Thanks, guys. Cheers, bro. Awesome.